gaming. Ah yes, every boy's childhood, no matter how much self-improvement YouTubers slander it, it still holds a place inside our hearts. As you hear the familiar soundtrack of none other than Minecraft, and these clips are scenes that which we grew up with, you can't help but feel a sense of nostalgia as you look back into the past, all the memories that were made. And even as I know that it was the best choice moving on, I still have a soft spot whenever I hear the Minecraft soundtrack or the comforting chuk -chuk 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 of dirt blocks. It was beautiful. But as an Asian, obviously, my parents were strict about my gaming boundaries. It started with only one hour on the weekends, and that was only after I'd done all my work. Maths, English, all these like, the Bond CGP books, bro, oh my god. And obviously one hour wasn't enough. I'd sneak, scam, bargain, bro, I was, I would do anything to find a way to just play one more round. I would dream about waking up to play video games. Just get your keyboard right now and place your hand on it. It naturally goes to my Fortnite keybinds, the WASD left shift on the spacebar. And every boy right now that's watching this video knows the feeling of when you put your hand on the keyboard and the other on the mouse. It's just so natural. And those were the good days. And for the small amount of time I was allowed to play video games, I was surprisingly good because I would obsess over everything. If I just started this new game, I'd make sure to watch countless hours of YouTube on how to get good at this, all the tips and tricks, a beginner's guide on how to do this. And this was just the way I worked. Whenever I started something, I'd want to be the best at it. <laughs> it got so bad, I used to dream about Valorant rounds, making Minecraft farms in my dream, doing montage triple edit fortnights like while i was sleeping and it consumed me in a way by limiting the amount of time i could play i obsessed over it even more and the people i used to play video games with when i'm on discord i can still see them playing valorant for three hours and then i look back with a sense of nostalgia that these are the people that I used to play games with but there's a difference, and these people are still playing video games. I still have them installed on this very computer that I write scripts on, that I make YouTube videos on. But when I'm two clicks away from starting my gaming addiction again, I don't. I use it for making videos and doing other productive things. And video games is different than other bad habits because although for every bad habit you inherently know that it's bad for you, and you don't really, you can't really defend it, like, unless you're saying, oh, but drugs are actually healthy, or watching porn actually increases stamina like bro shut up but for video games it's different because everyone's quick to defend it it gave me a childhood i wouldn't trade anything for the memories i made playing fortnite with the boys or minecraft servers and that's true it's all because of our old friend nostalgia as i compiled the clips for the edit at the start of this video i felt it in my heart this is what i grew up on and even as i thought of it i thought damn i would do anything to go back to those good days the laughter with friends, the fun times. I'm sure the same with you whenever you hear that Minecraft soundtrack. You shed a tear because it was so beautiful. It's this feeling of growing up with something that's so strong. Because think about it. If you grew up with something and it was part of your childhood, it formed so many core memories. You're obviously going to be quick to defend it. Because who you are as a child is determined by what you did. And for a lot of us, it was just gaming, YouTube. And this is what formed our childhood and this is why it's so hard to let go of. It's like it's part of our souls. But get rid of the nostalgia for one moment. Objectively, without thinking about nostalgia and all the good memories and the fact that you grew up with it. You know objectively that video games is bad for you. And of course you can say, oh, Elon Musk plays video games and he's a multi-billionaire. And that's true. But he would have been a multi-maybe trillionaire if he hadn't. And it's like running a race while juggling sure you could balance it really well and still come first in that race but if you hadn't juggled 
what's to say that you couldn't have broken the world record? And sure, there's good memories. I'm not saying that they're not, but how many hours have you spent into video games? It's probably upwards of thousands, maybe tens of thousands. And how many of those? Right now, think how many good memories can you actually think of? And sure, there's a couple of laughing with friends, having a good time, but I'm sure you can't get it over five. And the rest is just a blur. You don't remember the times when video games wasn't even fun. It was just an escape from reality. You hated it. When video games were meant to make you feel better, to make you have fun, you'd come away from your computer and with a sense of regret because you hadn't done your homework for it. You had this sense of disappointment in yourself. Because when you walk away from the screen, you've made progress in the game. It's like instant gratification, but a bit delayed because, for example, when you have to fight the ender dragon, you have to be patient. You can't just kill it. You have to build your way up to it. So it's like, it gives you a sense of you're doing something. It gives a sense of delayed gratification. But in reality, it's just all on the screen. And when you walk away, nothing's changed. Apart from the fact that your parents are disappointed at you. And this is arguably even worse than normal instant gratification because your mind is tricked into thinking that you actually achieved something and when after a couple of hours of a gaming session you feel like you've made progress in life and your mind is saying you've done something good job when in reality you haven't and yes they gave you a childhood but as you grow up you start to realize that maybe i could have done something better with my time and as video gamers we know the best what it feels like to level up we know that it takes time effort we have to grind for it we know that the best and that's something that no one else has we know that we can level up and it makes our progress our enjoyment so much more so why not concentrate that into real life the most fun video game because when discipline and goals line up with fun and play that's when you know that you're doing the right thing i'm grateful that i was a gamer the urge to level up in life came from this i used to wonder why I couldn't level up in real life, why, why couldn't my progress be saved to real life? But then I realised that it could be. It's so hard to let go of, but you know it's something that you must do.